What is transition capacitance? Transition capacitance CT. We know that capacitors store electric charge in the form of electric field. This charge storage is done by using two electronically conducted plates placed close to each other, separated by an insulating material called dielectric. The conducting plates or electrodes of the capacitors are good conductors of electricity. Therefore, they easily allow electric current to pass through them. On the other hand, dielectric material or medium is poor conductor of electricity. Therefore, it does not allow electric current through it. However, it efficiently allows electric field. When voltage is applied to the capacitor, charge carriers starts flowing through the conducting wire. When these charge carriers reach the electrodes of the capacitor, they experience a strong opposition from the dielectric or insulating material. As a result, a large number of charge carriers are trapped at the electrodes of the capacitor. These charge carriers cannot move between the plates. The charge carriers which are trapped near the dielectric material will store electric charge. The ability of the material to store electric charge is called capacitance. In a basic capacitor, the capacitance is directly proportional to the size of electrodes or plates and inversely proportional to the distance between two plates. Just like the capacitors, a reverse biased PN junction diode also stores electric charge at the depletion. The depletion region is made of immobile positive and negative ions. In a reverse biased PN junction diode, the P-type and the N-type regions have low resistance. Hence, P-type and the N-type regions act like the electrodes or conducting plates of the capacitor. The depletion region of the PN junction diode has high resistance. Hence, the depletion region acts like the dielectric or insulating material. Thus, PN junction diode can be considered as a parallel plate capacitor. In depletion region, the electric charges, positive and negative ions, do not move from one place to another place. However, they exert electric field or electric force. Therefore, charge is stored at the depletion region in the form of electric field. The ability of a material to store electric charge is called capacitance. Thus, there exists a capacitance at the depletion region. The capacitance at the depletion region changes with the change in applied voltage. When reverse bias voltage applied to the PN junction diode is increased, a large number of holes, the majority carriers from the P side and electrons, minority carriers from N side are moved away from the PN junction. As a result, the width of depletion region increases whereas the size of P type and N type region plates decreases. We know that capacitance means the ability to store electric charge. The PN junction diode with narrow depletion width and large P type and N type regions will store large amount of electric charge. Whereas the PN junction diode with wide depletion width and small P type and N type regions will store only a small amount of electric charge. Therefore, the capacitance of the reverse bias PN junction diode decreases when voltage increases. In a forward biased diode, the transition capacitance exists. However, the transition capacitance is very small compared to the diffusion capacitance. Hence, transition capacitance is neglected in forward biased diode. The amount of capacitance changed with increase in voltage is called transition capacitance. The transition capacitance is also known as depletion region capacitance, junction capacitance or barrier capacitance. The transition capacitance is denoted as CT. The change of capacitance at the depletion region can be defined as a change in electrical charge per change in voltage. So, CT equals to DQ by DV, where CT stands for transition capacitance, DQ change in electric charge, DV change in voltage. The transition capacitance can be mathematically written as CT equals to epsilon A by W whereas epsilon permittivity of the conductor area repeat a is equal to area of plates or p type and n type regions 
w is equal to width of depletion region.